Welcome to day 7 of 13 Days of Horrible Crafts and Even Scarier Stories. Today's story comes to us from Reddit user MPZ1968. I will have their subreddit linked in the description box if you'd like to read any of their other stories. This is part 2 of a two-part story called Chestnut Street. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, please watch that video before watching this one. I have it linked below in the description. But for now, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Good evening. What you are about to hear is a dramatized audio translation of the events that occurred at 19 Chestnut Street, July 25th, 2018, starting at approximately 9.08 p.m. and ending at approximately 9.27 p.m. This translation was taken from video surveillance cameras and audio microphones placed in the living area, kitchen, upstairs hallway, and master bedroom of the home. The translation goes as follows. 9.08 p.m. Susan Meyer, former lead investigator for the Hamilton Paranormal Research Center, arrives at the home and enters through the front door. 9.09 p.m. A small manila folder sitting on the coffee table begins to shake and eventually takes flight in the direction of Miss Meyer, striking her between the eyes, causing a small cut in her skin and tiny droplets of blood to flow down her face. 9.10 p.m. A large curio cabinet to her right seems to move out by itself about three inches from the wall and crash to the floor in front of her pinning her between it and the front door, at which time Mrs. Meyer screams, Michael, why are you doing this? 9.11 p.m. A low humming sound is heard. The volume intensifies and forms into what appears to be a voice saying, This is my house! 9.12 p.m. All lights under surveillance start turning on and off by themselves, doors opening and closing repeatedly. The front door opens so hard that it strikes Mrs. Meyer in the back, knocking her over the broken cabinet and onto the floor, dropping her purse in the process. 9.13 p.m. What appears to be a strong gust of wind blows through the living area so hard that it knocks over a table lamp and several knickknacks off the shelves, sending them crashing to the floor below. 9.15 p.m. From the floor, Mrs. Meyer screams, Michael, stop! I know this is your house! I know! Stop! 9.16 p.m. A small cat enters the frame from the bottom left corner of the screen, and immediately flies backwards off the screen. The sound of it hitting the wall and scurrying away is heard soon after. 9.18 p.m. All activity stops. Mrs. Meyer stands, grabbing her purse, and says, Michael, listen to me. I know you're mad. I don't want you to leave. I want you to stay. I quit my job today to be with you. I want to be with you here in this house. 9.21 p.m. What appears to be a large mass of black fog appears on camera, forming into what looks like a person. 9.22 p.m. Staring directly into the fog, Mrs. Meyer says, Michael, I can finally see you. I love you. I love everything you do for me. And now we will always be together. 9.24 p.m. Reaching into her purse, Mrs. Meyer produces a small handgun and places it to her temple. 9.25 p.m. 
All video surveillance cameras shut down and lose signal. Only audio remains. 9.26 p.m. One single gunshot is heard. Then the sound of something heavy hitting the floor. 9.27 p.m. All transmissions are lost. The body of Susan Meyer was found dead after a neighbor called 911 to report what sounded like a gunshot. Officers arrived on the scene to find the house in disarray and Mrs. Meyer's bloody corpse lying on the floor in the living area, the victim of an apparent suicide. The body was taken to the county morgue where cause of death was confirmed. The results for case number 137 are as follows. The home is believed to be completely consumed by a malevolent evil spirit. Any further investigation may result in injury and or death of another member of this organization. I will not take that risk. Case number 137 is now closed and will never be spoken of again. My condolences to the Meyer family. Thank you for your time. David Weinhardt, Director of Operations, HPRC. Thank you for watching day seven of 13 days of horrible crafts and even scarier stories. Thanks again to MPZ1968 for their great stories. Again, I will have their subreddit linked in the description if you'd like to read more of their scary stories. With that being said, have a wonderful day, stay safe, and sweet dreams.